Okay, uh, next session, uh, kind of, I'm just going to go through quickly is what happens next is successful. And I thought it was important to include this because we've talked about kind of, you know, where these things are going to take us. Uh, but actually, if you win and you're awarded a contract with no legal challenges, the next thing that's probably going to happen is contracts finalization and signature. And again, I've, you know, I've had good experience with this. I've had bad experiences. Sometimes the contract is signed within kind of hours of the of the standstill period finishing. And again, we talked a lot about standstill periods in one of the previous ones. Um, but actually, I've worked with organisations where it takes a month, three months, six months, even longer to act to get to get to contract signature, depending on the difficulties and the nature of what you're actually buying and the value. Um, once a contract is live, you have these another kind of one of these kind of life events, things that happen. You kind of you get amendments uh, once it's live and running, so changes to what the organisation needs. That's okay as long as they are non-material changes. They don't stray out of the scope, the length, the technicality, what you're actually buying. You, you bought hundred they bought hundred vehicles from you. They wanted up that to one hundred and five. That's probably okay because that's non-material. They want to buy two hundred. Ooh, that doesn't sound quite right. That sounds like it might be another contract because it is a material change to what being asked for. Um, as the contract approaches its end, you might get kind of extensions uh, kind of uh, towards the end of these kind of things. And you're also going to get price fluctuations as well. So it might be that your prices go up because things in the marketplace happen and you might be able to pass those changes on to the contracting authority and they might accept that. In other situations you, where you've done a fixed price, you might have to absorb any kind of changes in those price fluctuations. It might get to the point where you have the conversation with the contract manager that says, look, if we don't um, kind of uh, have some kind of recompense here because the market for our raw materials, you know, whatever's happened has gone up, we're going to go out of business and you're going to end up with nothing. So again, you know, price fluctuations, very, very complex how that can be managed, but it does kind of, there's often a conversation to be had there, even if you're on a fixed price contract. Uh, so, you know, don't be afraid to ask and have that kind of sensible thing. Then in terms of the end, contract termination, and, and I'm just going to kind of finish on this point here around these can either be planned or emergency exit. So your planned exit at the end of your three plus one plus one, your emergency exit is when something goes horribly wrong and uh, kind of, uh, you know, kind of your, your kind of contract is, is kind of um, uh, kind of cancelled for whatever reason. And we talked a bit about termination previously, and we might cover that in more details kind of further on. Uh, but yeah, contract termination is kind of can kind of be nice and normal and you leave and shake hands or it can be an emergency exit kind of uh, parachute out of the plane kind of thing.